hello. Now, I, when it comes to understanding your custom folder, we've got a template folder, which is everything that you might have got from uh, when you first installed iCloud 8, CC4, CC3, any of these programs. It has all the default, um, you know, programs that they give you, and personas and, and characters. That worked out well, didn't it? Um, so, you know, you've got all these people that we obviously have. Now, I, well, if you get, that's the pack, that's the item. Now, getting used to custom over here is completely the same. Because if you look at the setup of the folder system, you're pretty well built with exactly the same lineup as you are with your template. Once we minimize that, bring that up. Uh, sorry. Okay. So once we have it done like that and we were to make it absolutely neat like that, it's pretty well, okay, the same. So on a folder in your computer. Now, if I just make a folder on my desktop, call it iClone Assets, no matter where you get them from. Now, we're actually in a subsection. Once we're there, we can then right click and do subfolders. So, if I find something that I want to put into my iCloud folder, uh, DAS and all those programs have become so huge that I've had to buy like five terabyte hard drives all the time just to contain the assets. And it's the only way to keep your computer going at high speed. I only have the maximum of the actual, you have to sort of have the original program, Unreal Engine iClone does have them installed in your C drive completely because it will stuff up your plugins, stuff up your connections to other drives. It's hard, and you'll just get maximum efficiency. So have them all in one your in, in your C drive. I've got a two terabyte C drive because of it, and so about one point five of that hard drive is full of all the programs I use. But I keep folder systems pretty well, you know, along this lines, you know, so that you've got your ArcViz, DAS, um, iClone, Maya, and all this business. So as you sort of get build up your assets, you have all these folders. Now, if I was to go into here, for example, now that folder is in my, my G drive. So as long as you've gone through the system, click whatever buttons you have to until you've just got through this. If you have to... Um, With being off the net, for example, like your if your software is not online, just punch through it. Just keep clicking the buttons. Okay, okay. Whatever editor you get, you will be able to go into your project and then a category, right? For example, actor, and if I go into character, right? And it's in there that you can right-click and create subfolders. Well, there it is, right? In this folder here, I can then right click and go find file. Find file is anywhere. Find file is basically going to go to your default um, real illusion. So go back up, and if I was to go back into here and go back into iClone, I will then have any file that I put in here. If you've got a scene, that's where you're going to exit from. And once you've got it through here, Oh gosh, so stupid it opens up 7. You'll actually have to drag it over into the editor. And then it will open. Same as if you've got a woman and you have this avatar here, Addy, for example, drag her over into there. Now once you've got her into there, into your editor, pardon me if it's slow, but it's opening up iClone 7 as well. So, uh, give it a second to breathe. Um, now, with Eddie, does it recall there, the CC base? She is here. Now, what we do with this young lady is simply go back to. So, you've got the file. Once you've got the file on the screen, okay, now we're going to go back to content. We're in custom, right? So I can, she's an actress, right? So I can go to actor and then just save her. I right, give her a name. Abby. And there she is. Got a great picture of her. 
it's always better actually if you were to go and hit your F button, right? You get a really good screenshot then, right? So you're much better going like that. Um, then I can highlight the Abbey button, hit over right, and much better um, tile, you know, to have a look at what she is. So anybody that you can drag over into and drop into your editor will thus become an item that you can then put into a folder in your customs. It's no different to, um, okay, I've got a cafe in this scene, right? And so if I go to cafe and I went to highlight what's available, right? So um, I'll go down to here and find... Um, it's an object. Hit F, where is it? What is it? Uh, it's a wall, but I was hoping just to show that... Okay, sorry, it's a table, right? So that table there... Um, uh, I'll try to get a better picture of it. Because uh, you want to be able to read that. Uh, know what it is. Go to your content. Oh, do 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 Let's go to props and right, as soon as you open up your props you can either make a folder come on <clears throat> okay we'll have to obviously go down into a section which is actual props then we can create a subfolder and you can call it my tables Hit okay and uh, my tables is there and then simply hit save call it a table hit okay and there she is. So from then on, once I did that, I could click no. And there's my table. Uh, and it's the same as if I went up to the actor. Obviously, Abby's going to... Pop into the screen somewhere. Where are you, Abby? There you are. Now... For example, if we went to, hang on, I've just got to check my folders, and if we were to look at, um, okay, um, uh, okay, I'm just looking for motion, so, right, you've got a file, it's a motion, and, uh, grab a dance one, for example, right, that you find somewhere. And it's no different to grabbing that motion, drag it on top of Abby. Right? Abby's rocking it away, not crazy. And then you simply would go to, you know, you're in custom, get rid of your props, you have your own animation, right? And so you simply were either, once you're in your actual. Um, you actually go down into now if you got her to speak and all that business go into your motion plus and then you'll be able to save it there so if you're in your motion plus hit save you call it Abby talking for example hit OK and that will that file there is now a motion plus file if it had speaking on it, if it had clapping hands, whatever it's got on it, doesn't matter. That will then be able to drag and drop onto any character you've got. It's no different if you actually, that's motion plus, so if it's just a straight motion, or if it's just a straight pose, or if it's an expression, or a gesture, take the time, do the separation. No difference with the clothes. Once I've got her in there, I can go to my scene, I can go to, depends what she's wearing, all right? Her hair, highlight her hair, Go back to your content, go back to hair, then go down a folder into hairstyles and save it. There's Abby here. And bang, Abby's hair is now a hair that I can drag and drop onto everyone. And that's what will come the, the, the essence of it will be a body of, first of all, people that you get into here, dragging, dropping into the editor on the main screen, and then other files that you drop in. You will go into your custom folder, find the relevant category, and save as. Okay, and that's the same with, uh, like I say, clothes. Um, I would be able to grab... What have we got? Um, what's she wearing? 
shape uh, are they clothes actually or okay the skirt okay so simple as that I go up to content um, go up to clothes skirts See, there's nothing in there you can make a private category and call it blue skirts And then once you've got that, you're into there, and you're able to hit save. Have a skirt. And that's now sections. So you could obviously end up with millions of sections here, just like you have in the other system. I hope that helps. A basic short, it's only simplistic, but it's a little bit of explanation how that once you get through any... Um, you know, when you first open iClone and CC4, they want you to connect to the content manager online. And if you're offline, for example, or your program is a different program, then it's not going to work. So you've just got to keep clicking through those buttons, or maybe even restart the program two or three times, till you get to the point where it's sitting here, just working past that line. And if you jump offline, it might help as well, because it then won't totally be able to. Or you could even go into the firewall and block it, okay, and, um, and things like that. But uh, where are you? Ah, Mr. Nikola Telson's birthday. He is an amazing man. He created electricity. He is the reason we have the communications we do. Um, if we were to type in firewall, then you want to go to your allow an app through Windows firewall. Go to this setting here, you go back one, and go to advanced settings. Then you go to here, inbound rules. You go to new rule. Now, if you picked a company, what you actually have to do is um, let's pick somebody. If I propose it, for example, you'd open the file location, go to where it is, and you find the exe file, and then you you right click and look for the properties, and you grab that. Okay, you grab the company name, whatever it is, and you copy and paste it into there, and then you hit next. Right, it needs something, so. Um, you know, so blah 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 blah. All right, and then you go block the connection, and you hit next. Da da da. Next, give it a name. Da 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 da. And finish. That is now blocked. Okay. So same as if you go up to your outbound rules, and then you go to your new rule, and you hit program. Next. Da 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 da. -da. Next. Block the connection. Next. That's all good. Next. Da -da -da. <laughs> and that's basically it. So, thank you. And the, but, anyway, getting through that, because that causes that line to endlessly be down the bottom here, where it's trying to, you know, through this button, right? Sync folders and refresh and talk and stuff like that. Um, I own this copy of iClone 8 and CC4, so everything I have is, is straight. But um, there's a lot of files and a lot of things that are around the internet that you want to get for cheap and for free and business like that. And it's you know it's just as your right to be able to enjoy it and incorporate it into this pretty good editor for its own purpose. So I can say it's very good for getting people to talk. Um, I hope that helps with understanding your custom content manager a little bit more. Thank you.